mean everything to me because I know you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. And I called on the Lord. I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. And they doing it. And what that priest is saying is so important, man. Give me 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 14. What the priest is saying is so very important. The Christian church has lied on the Bible. God did not make a woman to be on her own. God did not make a woman to decide who runs the country, who gets the resources in the community, who gets married, who lives, who does not live, who gets aborted. God did not make a woman to have that decision. God created from the very beginning that a man is supposed to be in order. A man is supposed to be in charge. The entire black community is out of order because Christian preachers like who you saw on this corner taught feminism and women's empowerment instead of what God said in the Bible. The Christian church teaches that a woman is now unto God, that you learn about God through your mother, through your grandmother, that's what the Christian church teaches. God said that's not true. From the very beginning of the Bible, the first lesson in the Bible was never let the woman be in charge. Never let the woman make the decisions. Never let the mother be in charge. We have a community that is run by mommy and the kids are losing their life. The families are destroyed. The babies are losing their life. Babies being born full of STDs. Why? Because God never intended for a woman to run anything. God didn't intend for a woman to be in charge of the family. This is what God said about Genesis. Read that. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 14, brother. Give it to him. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 14. Shalaka, give me 11. Back there. Timothy chapter 2, verse 11. Let's hear the word of God. The Christian church has taught us songs and dances. And those songs and dances, and I'm blessed and highly favored, and God knows my heart, and woman thou art loose, and don't block my blessing, that's been getting our people in the graveyard. It's been destroying us, destroying our children, destroying our sons, destroying our daughters. That's not what it says in the Bible. Read what God said in the New Testament. Read that. Timothy chapter 2, verse 11. Verse Timothy chapter 2, verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. That's the first thing God said. Let the woman learn how? In silence. No, let her tell you what she think and how she feel. Let her learn how? In silence. No, let her tell you about her degree and her PhD and her doctorate. Let the woman learn how? In silence. God said let the woman learn in silence. It's too much women running their goddamn mouth. That's why we destroy. No other race of people let their women run the whole goddamn community. Not in Asia, not in Africa, not in Europe, not in the islands, nowhere on the planet. That's, right. That's why every race of people come to America and get right over the top of black people. Eve and Adam were black men and women in the Garden of Eden. And the first lesson God wants you to learn is don't be weak underneath of your woman. Read on. Verse 12. But I suffer not a woman to teach. What did God say? I suffer not a woman to teach. I learned about God through mommy and grandma. What did God say? Suffer not a woman to teach. God said a woman ain't supposed to be teaching. A woman is not allowed to teach the Bible. A woman is not allowed to lead the church. A woman is not allowed to lead the family. That's why your son shooting everybody. That's why your son is a Kia boy. That's why it's a million of us in prison. That's why everybody getting SA. 
child abuse, molestation, because mommy don't know the difference between a good man and a child molester. That's why the church is full of babies and black women and everybody getting abused. There would be no down low, no LGBT in the black community if not for sisters taking the babies to church with any law. That's why God said it was in the Bible. Read on. Nor to absurd authority over the man. Nor to do what? Absurd. Usurp authority over the man. What does it mean to usurp authority? The word usurp means that to take something without having a legal right to do so. You are not to usurp authority. You are not to tell a man that he can't see his children unless you get child support money. Child support is usurping authority over the man. You putting a man out the house is usurping authority over the man. Because he got a new girlfriend. You figure you get to go have sex with a different man because you unhappy. You are usurping authority over the man. As a woman, you are property of your husband. Yes, you were before that, you are property of your father. A woman is not supposed to be free all over the damn world. That's why you're going missing. That's why you're getting full of herpes and AIDS. That's why you're having sex with men and you don't want to be in a family with them. And you're killing your baby at Planned Parenthood. You don't know what the hell you're doing. God said this in the Bible. Read on. But to be in silence. To be where? To be in silence. Running her mouth. To be in silence. I ain't gonna listen to nobody. To be in silence. Nobody tell me how to dress. To be in silence. I body my choice. To be in silence. You don't tell me what to do. To be in silence. I don't listen to my father who? To be in silence. You ain't my daddy. To be in silence. I'm a PhD. To be in silence. God said your mouth's supposed to be shut. You running your goddamn mouth all the time is why you raising kids by yourself. That's right. And failing. Talking about I got a business. The poorest people in the country, the most homeless people in the country, the most evicted people in the country is our sisters. Why? Because pastor told you you're supposed to run your mouth. Pastor told you women thou art loose. God ain't never loose the woman on the earth. The first woman that got loose in the Bible got her son killed. That's what happened in the Garden of Eden. Read on. Verse 13. For Adam was first born. God said what? For Adam was first born. God made Adam first. The authority comes from the man. Not your mouth, not your breast, not your pocketbook, not your degree, not your pastor, not your Bible, not your church, not your ability to sing and dance, not because the lease is in your name, not because it's your car, not because of your credit, not because you're pretty, not because other men want to have sex with you. You belong to your man. You are out of order. World War Three is coming. It's prophesied in the Bible that two-thirds of our people are going to die right. leading up to the return of Christ. And six out of every ten black people is a black woman. Listen to what God is saying in the Bible. We're trying to save your life. The pastor is about to get our people slaughtered. Right. Everybody in America preparing for World War III. Black women preparing to go vote. Everybody knows this except our people. Listen to the word of God, please. Keep going. Verse 13. For Adam was first born. God made Adam first. Then Eve. And after God made Adam, he made a woman to help him. Keep going. Verse 14. And Adam was not deceived. Adam wasn't deceived. What? But the woman. But who? But the woman. Adam was not tricked by the serpent in the Garden of Eden. Read it again. And Adam was not deceived. Adam was not deceived. The serpent didn't come to Adam. The serpent came to Eve. The serpent came to Big Mama. The serpent came to Aretha Franklin. The serpent came to Beyonce and Rihanna. And you know what the serpent said? I'll make you a goddess. I'll make you a diva. I'll make you a queen. I'll make them worship you. What she didn't realize is shortly after she became a diva and a queen, one son became a murderer. The other son got murdered. Then they got evicted. Then the marriage was in trouble. Then the whole earth was out of order. 
That's why God put it in the book of Genesis. You ain't been taught the Bible. God said the man was not deceived. Keep going. But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. God said the woman was wrong. Why did God say the woman was wrong? Because you had no business disobeying your man's authority. That was the whole lesson from the beginning of the Genesis. Now, any more on that, brother? Read what you got, huh? This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 25, verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. Of what? Of the woman. All people. Woman. Man and woman. Woman. God said of the woman came the beginning of sin. God said sin began because of a woman. This is what God said. God said sin started with a woman. That's why you are never to put your woman on a pedestal. Not your mama, not your grandma, no woman. That's why God said a man can have more than one woman. You figure you're supposed to own a man. You're supposed to tell me I can't have sex with another woman. You're supposed to tell me how many kids I can have. You're supposed to tell me what the money's supposed to be spent on. Now we got a house full of what? A bunch of clothes, a bunch of debt, a bunch of jewelry, a bunch of stuff we can't afford. Why? Because you in charge. Happy wife, happy life. That's not in the Bible. Adam tried to make his wife happy. See what happened? Keep going. And through her, and through her, we all die. What did God say? We all die. Why are we all die? Read it again. Through her, we all die. Because she's going to choose what man she can have sex with. And by the time she finished choosing, half the brothers she slept with will be in the streets of Southeast shooting at each other night and day. The whole blood and crip beef. Because one sister had sex with a blood and a crip. How many years had there been a blood and crip beef all throughout the country? Come from a sister having sex with more than one man. This is what God said in the Bible. Read it again. Ecclesiastes chapter 25 verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. You need to understand this about yourselves. We need to understand what God said. The Christian church has taught us lies. It has put us in danger. If you do not have a man, you are in danger, sister. You are in danger. Grandma is in danger. The kids are in danger. You put Obama in office and Obama pushed LGBT rights. Now there's a man in a dress that cannot control himself in the bathroom with you and your little girls. This is why God said it in the Bible, we in danger. Y'all better pour into this school, man. Time is running out. Christ said civil war is coming, race war is coming, world war is coming, nuclear war is coming. I guarantee you not one preacher taught you about it. Right? Read it again. Ecclesiastes chapter 25, verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. God said sin came from the woman. This is what God said. Keep going. And through her, we all die. Through her, we all die. God did not want mommy to run the community. All the brothers that get emotional and shoot somebody, they raised by single mothers. All the sisters that want the attention of a man, they on the street half naked because they need a man to look at them. They need a man to acknowledge them. They're whole naked behind all on the internet like Glorilla and Megan Thee Stallion because they're desperate for a man to pay them attention because God made a woman solely for the man. Everything else is a lie. Ask Stephanie Mills, 60 years old, still looking for a man. Ask Gladys Knight and Vivica Fox, still looking for a man. Ask Taraji P. Henson, still looking for a man. 50 years old, 60 years old, the whole reason God made you a woman is for a man, sister. The whole reason God made flowers beautiful is it's not for the flower. It ain't for the flower. Your whole reason for being a woman is to serve your man. And everyone who thinks differently, you are an enemy of God. Keep dropping it. That's a powerful, powerful, powerful speaking. You know what I'm saying? And everything that the captain said was absolutely right. And I want to give you something else to think about. One of y'all most, these sisters' favorite shows, Bad Girl, right? When you watch them on there, they got money. They can go perform. 
Hey, listen, brothers and sisters, man. If you like what you hear, hit the subscribe button, man. Subscribe to this channel. And also, please, go to isupk.com and pay your tithe. Drop me some cash so we can move around this planet like we need to, man, and do the things we need to do. They're one west. They're one west. They're one west. They're one west. Yeah, Babylon is falling in the book.